a mess. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the Italy vlog. I haven't really vlogged much since we got here because we just had a very long travel day. And we also went to Switzerland for one day, but I really wanted to just enjoy that. So I only took a few clips. I want to now go we're in Italy. Hi. <laughs> we're in Milan right now, and we're going to go there. find somewhere to eat. just finished up at the Duomo and now we're gonna keep looking around maybe do some shopping it's still early in the afternoon so we still have time before we have to do dinner and stuff got myself some macaroons here What's up, y'all? It has been a very long day. I think the last clip you guys saw of me speaking was yesterday in Milan, but then my camera died, so then I had to record on my phone. And then today, we started our long eight-hour, well, ended up turning out more into like a 10-hour drive to Amalfi. Um, just to give you guys a quick idea of what we went through. So we were supposed to arrive at 4.04 p.m. And we knew that there was a road that was closed but I thought that Apple Maps was going to reroute us a different way to avoid that, but it never did. So then we went down this mountain and then we had to turn around and it added an additional two hours to our ride. So we didn't get here till like 6, 15, 6 30 almost. So it's, uh, it's been a long day. You guys a better idea of what the rest of the place looks like outside in the morning, but this is our mini, kitchen area so it's a villa that has a few different spots and rooms this is our room right here a little tv and then so me and my boyfriend will be here and my sister will be here in her own room as well and then the bathroom the shower we've discovered has an interesting smell don't know what that is all about we'll figure it out though um i'm not really sure what the plan is yet but we have to go get freshened up a little bit, I don't know, get comfortable. And then my dad, I believe, is cooking dinner for us here because it's already kind of late. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. It's our first full day in Amalfi. I got my bathing suit on and dressed, and I believe we're going to be getting... The guy that has our cars at this parking lot is going to be driving us around today. I'm not 100% sure yet because um, he mentioned it yesterday when we had dropped off our cars that he could take us around, but we need to find out how much it would cost and all that. So I think that's the plan because it ended up clearing up a lot. It was supposed to be kind of cloudy, but it's been sunny for most of the morning. So I'm super excited to go explore around the area and hopefully go to the beach today. So since it's daylight out now, I can show you guys what the Airbnb looks like. So let's do a little tour. Hi little cat. We're gonna go to this little cafe, maybe get another coffee, croissant or something, cause I'm hungry. This is what we ended up getting because it's a little bit more filling than what that little cafe had. just walked over to a coffee shop, got a cappuccino and some croissants for the family. And now we're walking back and we have to leave, I think, in the next 20, 25 minutes to get into the car and go to Pussy Fano today. 
So that's the plan as of right now. It feels nice out, but I am sweating a little bit, not gonna lie, because we did a, an uphill walk this morning to go get the coffee. But I feel good, and it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> Guys, we're getting on a boat and we're going to Capri. I really don't ever get sick on boats or in cars and I honestly felt a little bit crappy there for a moment. All right y'all, we are at dinner here in Positano. I'm so excited to eat, I'm so hungry. Super cute here. I wish we had more time like on the Amalfi Coast because it's beautiful. I got a little bit of a tan slash sunburn because I didn't have any okay. sunscreen. So the last clip you guys saw was us leaving Amalfi this morning, which was a bittersweet because obviously I'm excited for the rest of the trip. We still have a little over a week of vacation, but I loved Amalfi Coast. It's so beautiful there and... I just loved it so much. But we are in Roca now. We're staying at a family friend's house because we're here in town for a cousin's wedding, which is tomorrow, I believe. We just got to this house. We're kind of getting situated, seeing where everybody's gonna sleep because we do have 10 people total, eight adults, two kids uh, that are on this trip with us. So yeah, we gotta figure that out. But I just came to the bathroom to freshen up because we were in the car for a few hours today. I guess I'm all feel ready, but we do still have a few locations left for the trip. So super excited for that. Can't really tell here because I look super pale on camera. Maybe if I move you guys this way. I did get some sun yesterday um, and when we went to Capri, which was great because I haven't had like a nice tan in a while, but I definitely got sunburn. I should have got sunscreen and I didn't. Just because it was kind of expensive and I was like, eh, whatever, I'll just like, I won't be in the sun too much. And then I ended up being in the sun too much and now I am burnt on my arms, my legs, my ankles, like. Some good old rocks to lay down on at the beach. lighting because the lighting is shitty over there anyways with that little lamp but it is after dinner and I'm so full we ate dinner literally like an hour ago so much food like so much pasta no pizza so much pizza I showered did my skincare I am still uh, stinging a little bit on my skin from the sunburn uh, and I did buy some sunscreen at the grocery store earlier. I'm definitely gonna apply some of that tomorrow because we have a wedding to go to at 10.45 in the morning and I already know it's gonna be sunny and I think some of it is outdoors. I'm not 100% sure yet. Just giving you guys an overview of what the room looks like. Very simple, clean, and of course the AC we are so blessed to have that. Anyways, I am gonna go to sleep and just chill for a little bit and I will pick this back up what's up y'all so we are not in Roca anymore we're actually in Rome so my background is a little bit different um, I haven't vlogged in like two-ish days I was going to but then I was like you know what I'm here with family that I haven't seen in literally like 20 years I'm just not gonna vlog not use my camera I didn't really bring it anywhere like there was one day we were just like at the beach all day and then like the last day that we were there we went and got like a couple of jewelry pieces from a family friend um, like from ourselves and like some family back home and then we went to my aunt's house for like a going away party with all the family that was still in town from the wedding and all of that and yeah i just didn't vlog a lot just because i wanted to just be in the moment not have to worry about vlogging and yeah again i haven't seen some of those family members since i was literally like three and i'm gonna be 24 this month so yeah i ended up crying because i had such a good time there but we were able to check in like two hours early which is great because we left super early from roca got here at like 
almost one and then we were already in the room by like 1 30 so i'll give you guys a little room tour my boyfriend's in the bathroom right now but the room is very modern clean uh there's five bedrooms and five bathrooms so each room has their own bathroom which is really nice i am dressed for the day and we're probably gonna go and try to take advantage that we got here early and go do something maybe go do touristy things we still have all of tomorrow as well we've been walking around for like about an hour now but a lot of the things you need to buy tickets for some of the things are sold out so we might do more of these tours tomorrow but for now we're just hitting some areas that we can just walk to and take some cool pictures at i think we're going to the trevi fountain next Let's look at the menu. Let's read. <laughs> wow. Let's see if it's as good as it is at home. What's up, y'all? We are on a guided tour right now. I can't really hear what I'm saying very well just because I have the earphones in, but we are at the Coliseum. Not four because they can only carry oh, So we just got to the Vatican. We got out of our Uber. We met my dad and my cousin here because they've been waiting for us while we went and did our other tour. But yeah, and none of us, for the most part, I think, besides a few, knew that this was its own country. And I think this is one of our last like stops, of, like tours, tours stuff. and stuff. So I think after that we're going to get food. My lovely skirt that I had to make. We went to go eat as you guys saw earlier and everybody else had McDonald's. I didn't really feel like having McDonald's but I did get some fries and they were pretty good. But I went and met up with my dad, my mom and my aunt at a restaurant, we ate there. Okay, my camera died so I have to do this really quick. I got little shorts from Brady Melville and now we're gonna go back to the apartment and then figure out the rest of the night. All right, charge my battery and we are back at the Airbnb. Yeah, I just finished showering. Uh, did a little bit of skincare and then I think some of us, I don't I don't know if all of us are going, there's a mall that's a few minutes away from our Airbnb. Um, so we just wanted to go check it out before it closes because it closes at 9. And then maybe grab dinner somewhere in the area, just have like a super chill night. Hopefully, I've been looking for these Adidas campus shoes, like the thicker uh, tongue and the thicker um, laces because I saw these colors that were super cute, but they didn't have my size anywhere at the places that we've been to leading up to today, like on this trip. And there's another shoe store at this mall, so maybe they'll have the color I want and the size that I need, but if not, I'll just have to order them online. We just got to, I forgot what this farm is called, but it's a farm tour. I'm gonna get like some sort of like appetizer type of thing. And obviously behind me you can see the little piglets uh, enjoying their mud bath because it is pretty hot out here. We made a wrong turn, so we ended up having to backtrack. Be here for a little while and then we can't check into our last place until four. Also, I didn't mention this yesterday, but I finally found the shoes that uh, I've been looking for this entire trip. And
All right, y'all. So we made it to our last Airbnb for this trip. We do have to go back to Switzerland because that's where we're flying out of, but this is our last like vacation home um, for this two week trip that we've been on. And it's really sad because I really don't wanna go back to work. Going back into the routine after being on vacation for two weeks is definitely gonna be super hard. So I think all of us are trying to enjoy these last few days, especially because this Airbnb is probably the best one. I think we're just gonna be chilling for a little bit. We managed to get here a little bit earlier, which is nice. And for dinner, I really am not sure what we're doing yet. We are on like the outskirts of Florence. I thought we were in Florence, but when I looked at the location, uh, Earlier and during this trip, we realized we're not really in Florence. We're like an hour away. This area is super beautiful as well. So let me just show you guys the Airbnb. So we decided to take the like independent suite area. It has a little kitchen in here. And then the bathroom's pretty big, very clean. And the people that greeted us here, like the owners were super nice and gave us a whole tour. Here's the room. This is the bed. We have a really nice view to wake up to. We're only here for two nights, which kind of sucks, but we're gonna enjoy it while we're here. Then these stairs lead up to like this mini bed. I guess I'll get up there to show y'all what it looks like. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. the pork fair <laughs> with John pork guys give the pork fair um, like a rating the pork An fair eight. was a nine out of ten <laughs> eight out of ten Good afternoon y'all we are in Florence for a few hours today everybody has to get their little knickknacks for and then we have dinner back at our place like in that little town and then we're gonna chill there because then tomorrow we have to go to Switzerland and cry You guys, we are walking back to our car because we have to get over to dinner. It's not till seven, but we have an hour drive to get back to the town that we're staying in. And then in case anybody needs a shower, do whatever, gotta get all that done and then head over to the steakhouse. I forgot what it's called. You guys will see later, but I'm excited to eat. This is our last like big dinner. I guess of the trip, so. And it's his birthday dinner. Oh yeah, and it's my cousin's birthday, so. We are at dinner. We're the first people here because our reservation was right when they opened. Yeah. That's huge. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Formage. Wow. Ele formage. A little charcuterie. Mm. A little bit of cheese. Ooh. A little bit of cheese. Ooh. <laughs> 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 oh, this is better than a cake. Where's it cool? Not our flight getting canceled a few hours before we have to leave and having to move rooms and stay in Switzerland for another night. <laughs> So clearly we uh, are still in Switzerland. We changed rooms, then we used our voucher to get free lunch, and now we just got off the train and are visiting the town, seeing, oh, Jesus Christ, did you see that guy? Yeah, he almost killed you. <laughs> this freaking guy running with his baby almost ran my aunt over. hop onto the tram. I have no idea where it's taking us, where we're going. I'm just kind of following along. So, time to catch you guys up on the day. Uh, so, I know I had told you guys earlier that our flight got canceled for today. So, it was supposed to be at 1.35 and 
at like eight in the morning they sent us a message that the flight got canceled whatever we quickly got ready went across the street to the airport to go and get them rebooked there wasn't anything for today not one for tomorrow it's the exact same flight it's at 135 getting to tampa at 11 and uh we got the vouchers to spend another spend another night here and we got a voucher to eat lunch or dinner there and all of that we think oh everything's great they gave us our vouchers they said okay cool it might take a few hours for it to update on your end and blah 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 we go and we're like okay great let's go take a train and then see the, the town and all that and then i'm like checking like later and later in the day we still just don't have any new information it just says canceled and then my aunt's lets her check in and it updates with the new flight for tomorrow but ours never did so then i get on the chat with delta and they're like oh it looks like there wasn't enough seats and blah 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 and then we got put on a flight that has two stops instead of one it's a little bit earlier uh it's at 10 25 in the morning and we're supposed to get to tampa at eight so we get there earlier than them but we still have two more flights so it's like making sure that our baggage all gets there and all that which makes it just a little bit more stressful but um we seem to be okay like we got our, our boarding tickets and everything so right now i'm gonna go shower because i have been sweating i didn't get a chance to shower this morning so yeah that's the update hopefully tomorrow we have no issues and we make it home okay i mean that's what's important at the end of the day